What is up, guys? Welcome to another th What is up, guys? Welcome to another Thurk of Ah. Uh. What is up, guys? Welcome to a something in my eye now. What is up guys, welcome to a circle themed YouTube video. Today we're going behind the scenes and revealing the secrets of what happens behind the scenes at the circle. T to an extent, just because I'm contractually obliged not to reveal some things. I put a poll out on my Instagram, you guys asked some questions about the circle, I'm going to answer them today. Drop me a like and a subscribe guys. I'll make part two if I get more than 10 questions that aren't answered in this video below. Georgia Smith 72 asked, other than speaking to each other, what is there to do all day? The honest truth, Georgia, absolutely nothing. It's probably one of the most boring places to be in other than when you're engaging with each other. You don't have TV, you don't have a mobile phone, you don't have any films, any form of entertainment except for a book, cards, puzzle. This year they've got remote control cars. I didn't have the pleasure of that last year, but it gets boring very quickly. I even started cheating against myself at Solitaire. It was that boring. Jack has written to me and said, how long were you in isolation before the game starts. We were in hiding for a week before the show. And the reason for that is to allow them to remote the show, put the adverts out, reveal who the players are on social media, do all those things without us gaining any knowledge of what's going on. We had no phones, we only had Netflix, and that was run by a chaperone. The chaperone lives with you at all times and makes sure that you're not doing anything untoward and also make sure you're okay, they provide your food. This is in hiding, by the way. And this is all in preparation for the show, so it's kind of like a halfway house between real life and reality TV. Sally has asked a question that I receive nearly every day and that question is, how does the food shop work? People are so interested in how the food shop works but actually it's real simple. In the morning I'd write out what I wanted to eat. I'd put it on my kitchen table on a bit of paper. I would go to the diary room, to the roof or to the gym. That bit of paper would be gone by the time I get back. I'd go to the diary room, the roof or the gym again and my fridge would be full when I get back. It's really that simple. They've obviously got Loads of minions running around, getting food, getting this, that. What was interesting though, is that some days I'd be like, I've only got enough for one meal here. That means there's probably a blocking tonight. Which is quite interesting because they're a very green production. They're trying to reduce food wastage. So they'd only give you enough food to last you for that one day in case you got blocked in the evening and weren't coming back the next day. Rachel has put, are you still friends with the people from the circle? Yes, I am, Rachel. If you followed me, you'd see that I'm always with Sean, Dan and Freddie, particularly Freddie, and I wind him up a lot, which is fun. Rachel Downing has put, do you ever hear the other contestants? And the answer is no. These rooms are completely soundproof. You're not allowed to even open them to get fresh air. And also, if you think about a block of flats, the, the way we are positioned is not on top of each other. And the reason for that is in case you hear people bouncing above you, below you, to the sides, you're spread out quite a lot in the building. You're like, boom, 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 boom. And the reason for that is so that you've got even lower chance of hearing each other. When you're moved to the roof or to the gym, you put, you put earplugs in and then earmuffs on top of those earplugs. So you can't hear a blimmin' thing when you're moving around. Holly has put, do you get any free time without the cameras on you? And the answer is no, Holly. The cameras are on you all the time, 24 hours a day, for two main reasons. So that in case you do something funny by accident, you fall over, you set the fire alarm off, you burn your sausages, you trip over a rug, they want to capture that on camera so they can put it out as content. The second reason is for welfare. When you're in total isolation, things get very weird. You go very weird in the head. You might try and escape. You might be needing help in some way. You might faint, whatever it is. They need to be watching you at all times because you are in their care. You are not looking after yourself. They are looking after you. The only two times they don't film you is when you go for a wee, getting in and out of the shower. All other times they're filming you and making sure you're okay. And you also, you wear a microphone at all times so they can hear if anything goes wrong too. I can't find the question, but somebody wrote, how do you not bump into each other when you move from the roof to the gym, to your room, to the inner circle? And the reason is you're told, Alex to the roof, Alex to the gym, when it's your go to go. And before they tell you and give you the green light to go, everyone else is back in their rooms. There's no chance that they're moving. There's maybe 500 people working on the show or more, and there's only eight people that they've got to look after. It's very easy to make sure that those eight people are in their rooms whilst people are moving up and down. It's all run smooth as hell. You don't even notice it's going on around you, but it is. I mean, the only time you're allowed out is onto the roof and you go up there once a day, maybe for 15 minutes. If you're a smoker, you probably get more time. And if you get to have a chat on the roof, you get to stay there for longer. I would always be wanting more time. So I'd be like, circle, start private chat with Freddie if he wasn't free. 
circle, start private chat with Dan. I've just been trying to get a private chat on the roof so that I could stay there for as long as possible. But you just want fresh air. You're like, please, it's so boring in there. Don't let me go back. Even just hearing cars, I'd be like, I miss that sound. Abby has put, is there any restriction to how many conversations you have in a day? And the answer is yes, Abby, because you've got eight people in there. If eight people have five conversations a day, that's a lot of content. You've got to squeeze eight people's conversations all day into one hour and also games, blockings, alerts. You've got to remember that it'd be too much to edit. You get a certain amount of activity coming at you at different times of day. You get news feed updates, you get games in the evening, you get alerts and you get some private conversations to try and build networks outside of that. Jazzy put, did you get lonely? Yes, Jazzy. Imagine going from living with four people to living on your own and not actually being able to see anyone. Obviously, you've got access to people if you need them. If you say, I need help on my microphone, you'll get somebody will come and help you straight away. The psychologist is always there in case you need somebody to talk to, somebody to get stuff off your chest to if you're feeling really down one day. I was tempted to leave. I got really down, really lonely. I tried to leave a few times, but something inside me was like, you're not going, it was really weird. So I'm really feeling for the guys that are in there right now because it's so tough to be on your own all the time. Cara's put, are the beds comfy? Yes, the beds are bloody comfy. The guys looked after me so much like fresh sheets all the time. You'd come back to your bedroom and be like, oh, fresh sheets, sweet. You didn't even have to make the bed because it had already been made for you. It was the best. Your fridge would be full. There'd be fresh drinks in there for you, fresh fruit. The bed would be made. It's just like having an invisible housewife slash also husband, 2019. So if you're watching, thank you for everything you did for me. Zoe has put, do you ever get takeaways? Yeah, when you win a game, you got a takeaway. I think you get some pizza. I got a pizza once maybe because we won a quiz or we lost a quiz. I can't remember. You can't just be like, I need a Chinese takeaway because you will literally be doing it on your hand and you won't have a phone. No phone, no Netflix, nothing, guys. I don't think you understand here. You've got nothing. It's a lonely, lonely place. Harriet has put, how many chats were there that weren't aired? I haven't watched it back, Harriet, so I don't know if there was any of my chats that weren't aired. I presume there was some chats that weren't aired just because some of them were probably quite boring. Some of them though were probably just a lot of small talk. You've got to remember that they've got to make a show here. It's got to be engaging, it's got to be insightful. There's probably conversations that are going on that we're not seeing, but I don't know if any of mine weren't aired because I haven't watched it back. Rosie has put, is it scripted? Rosie, I can tell you for a fact, it's not scripted. I had free reign to do what I wanted in the time that I was allowed to do it, say what I wanted. Not one person suggested I say something, it all came from my head. And the whole scripted thing actually really pisses me off because I was putting myself through hell for people to think it was scripted. And then when I came out, people were like, oh, was that scripted? No, it wasn't, Janice. I wouldn't be here feeling awful if I was reading from a script, would I? The one bugbear I have with the circle potentially is that I reckon smokers got a lot more time than I did. It's just like when you're at work. Those little smokers, they get loads of time outside. But if I'm back one minute late from my lunch break, suddenly it's a big deal. Suddenly Karen from finance is kicking off. You know what I mean? But she's out having fags seven times a day. I feel like that's happening on the circle. If I went back on there, I'd pretend to smoke. I'd just be putting it in my mouth and be like. <coughs> <coughs> just to get by, because I want more time on the roof. If that was the case, stuff you. Another question is, do you do your washing or is it done for you? It's all done for you. I'd put it in a wash bag, I'd come back and it'd be all folded on my bed. Dude, I'm telling you, it's a life. If the circle was real life, but you also got to actually live your life and not just be restricted to this flat with these eight people, it'd be the best. It'd be the best ever. Food all provided for you, washing done, bed made, sick. Somebody's asked, does the circle close overnight? Hashtag undisturbed sleep. And the answer is yes. When you say lights out circle, everything goes off, including the TV. The lights in the circle are made for cameras. So they're bloody bright and they're bloody hot. It's boiling in there at all times, which is why some of them aren't wearing clothes. And it's so bright that you're like, you've got to make sure everything's evenly lit for the cameras. There's eight cameras, I think, around the building. And then these little cameras are like, uh, uh. they're often concealed, so you can't really see them a lot of the time, but you can hear them and you're like, uh, and you're like, there's one in that bush there. When, you, when the lights go off to go to sleep, your body's like, oh, oh. and you like sleep until the lights come back on. So why you see a lot of blindfolds? Because people have clocked onto it. What is this light? It's like a bomb's exploded in your room and it's so bright, it's like, oh. And you don't have a watch. You've got no concept of time, which is quite liberating. And I started looking at the sun and being like, I reckon it's two o'clock right now. I'd be like, circle, is it two o'clock? No answer. <laughs> no answer at all. 
All right, guys, that is it for Secrets of the Circle. If you've got any more questions that I can answer in another YouTube video, mainly because I need content and I don't have a very creative mind, drop them in the comments below. And if I get more than 10, I'll make a part two. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy this content, guys. More YouTube videos coming soon. I know I'm crap at them, but I'm going to get better. I promise. Keep watching the circle. Keep enjoying it. Otherwise, it won't be on for another year. And I'll see you guys next week.